I want to thank God for this opportunity I got um, to either reach my dreams in the NBA or stay here with my teammates. But um, I got some unfinished business here, and I, I'm just saying I, I, I want to stay. I, I'm <laughs> I have personal goals here. I want to win a national championship. Three more years. Three more years. That announcement the other day from freshman Miles Bridges sent Spartan fans into euphoria. Why? He led the team in scoring last season, becoming the first Frosty to lead MSU in points since Sean Respert 25 years ago. His 16-point average was the second highest by an MSU freshman, trailing only Magic Johnson. He was named the Big Ten Freshman of the Year and garnered all Big Ten second team honors. And as you heard, he's not quite done with school just yet. And sure enough, here to talk about his decision is Miles Bridges, joining us from East Lansing. So, Miles, what's the easiest way to explain why you chose to return? Uh, I mean, I, I just love college. Uh, I love playing for Coach Izzo. Uh, we have a great team coming in. Uh, injuries, people are coming back from injuries, so it, it was a pretty easy decision for me. So, why not at least check? with the NBA like that would have if I was in your shoes I'd think well maybe I want to at least hear what they have to say but you didn't even want to do that how come uh I mean I heard from different sources uh where I would go and I just wanted to just stay here and practice and be with my teammates when officially did you make up your mind uh I kind of made up my mind kind of after the Rutgers game uh, I, I had thoughts about coming back. Uh, I never really was set on coming back or leaving. I, I just was worried about the season. How did you tell Izzo officially you were coming back? I told him after the season. Uh, he was kind of surprised. He kept asking me, was I sure? Did I want to do that? Um, and his reaction was priceless. <laughs> Wait, how was it priceless? <laughs> I mean, you know, the, uh, Coach, he's a really emotional person. Um, he, he just loves people that love that loves Michigan State. So when, when I told him why I wanted to stay, uh, it, it made him really happy. So if that Rutgers game that you decided afterwards was in January, but the season didn't end until March, what, what was the delay in you officially telling Tom you were coming back? Uh, I, I just wanted to wait after the season because I just wanted to worry about the task at hand, what we needed to do to win games uh, and make it to March Madness. Did he tell you you should go pro? Uh, he, he never told me to stay. He never told me to leave. He, he, anything that I wanted to do, he was going to support me. He just gave me the pros and cons on both situations. What were the pros and cons of staying? Uh, pros and cons. Uh, staying is potentially winning a national championship, uh, national player of the year, playing with a great team, um, having fun in college. Um, cons is, of course, getting injured. Um, or dropping my draft stock. How'd your teammates respond when you told them? Uh, they're jumping up and down. I, I had already told Tom and Josh, but once I told like Matt McQuaid, Kyle Lawrence, and all them, they're hugging me, jumping up and down, um, screaming. It, it was really fun. What was the best response you've gotten from anyone, whether it was a teammate or someone on the street, a fan? Since you made the decision, what's the best response you've had? Uh, the fans, they've been playing a big part of the students. Uh, they've been telling me one more year. And just, just that whole ceremony with them coming out like that um, and supporting me, that, that was really a good experience for me. Yeah, what was that like, being by the Sparty statue and having everybody there? Uh, that was a surreal moment for me. I'll I remember that for the rest of my life. Um, Draymond actually came up with that idea, um, and it, it worked out perfectly. So wait a minute. How often are you talking with Draymond? I, I just told him my decision, I was staying, and he was like, well, if you're staying, you should just make it a big thing. So just do what we did. <laughs> so do you talk to him, like, once a week, once a month? Yeah, I, like, once a week, just, just checking on him, see how he's doing. Um, it's like a brother, bro, brother um, situation with us. What's the best advice he's ever given you? Uh, just stay level-headed, don't let anybody change me. Um, at the end of the day, I'm going to make my own decisions. So just, just make the best decisions for myself. Did you give him a hard time about 3-1 to one lead in a series? 
Ah, uh, no, because I know he gets really offensive about that, so I try to stay away from, <laughs> well, then stay away from there. Don't tell him I brought that up then. Uh, where, can you, <laughs> where can you still get better in your game? I can get better in a lot of ways. My ball handling, um, becoming more of a guard and a forward. Um, it's a lot of things I could do. My defense, that's what I've been working on this whole summer. But well, what are your goals for next season? Uh, my goals... I have a lot of goals, uh, Big Ten Championship, um, National Championship, Final Four, all, all that type of stuff. I, I really aim high, and so do my teammates. So if we all have the right mindset, then I think we can really accomplish those things. So now what? What's your summer going to be like? Uh, I mean, I'm just working out, trying to get better every day, uh, not taking any days off, and taking care of my body. Well, you take care of that body, man, and congratulations on your decision. <laughs> Enjoy the summer, Miles. Ah, uh, thank you. You too.